welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be doing the eyeshadow tag. Now, I don't know if you've seen some of my other videos before, but I have mentioned on one of my vlogs that we are going to be in the process of moving house quite soon. Um, I'm not exactly sure of a timeline. I have no idea on anything else other than the fact that I know it's definitely happening. And with that being said, I need to sort my shit out, really, because I have a lot of it. So before we get into this video, kindly hit that subscribe button and the like button and show your support for this channel, that would be great. Um, so let's get into it. Today's video is going to be, I'm going to be doing the eyeshadow tag. Now I have traced this back to a girl called Samantha March and I have seen a hell of a lot of other YouTubers doing it a while ago and I'm really, really late. But I've only just discovered it so I said why not do it. It'll help me sort through my eyeshadow palettes and yeah, I'll be able to just pull them out, leave them here and then we're gonna start either decluttering in the next couple of weeks or I'm putting them in, well I am putting them into storage. But it'll go one of two ways. So there was a lot of tags on this and I found some tags that came from Samantha March's actual YouTube which I took them as well but I also found another set of um like questions and I'm going to be doing these two now I don't actually know which one is Samantha's and which one isn't. So some of the questions are if I'm going to a wedding as a guest what eyeshadow palette what I wear and I have written down here I'd either go with my MAC or my Inglot one so this is my Inglot one it looks like this and as you can see there are a lot of good colours in this pretty neutral um warm tone predominantly but yeah it, it, that's a good wedding palette in my opinion especially if you're going as a guest as well you don't want to be like going with like clown makeup um date night so my eyeshadow palette that i would use for date night is this one my primark 50 and 50th anniversary one i absolutely adore the colors in this it like it's giving me jacqueline hill vibes um i just think it's a really really good palette i literally could not fault this one and the last and power in it is really really good as well so it's a win-win now if i'm going on vacation or holidays what eyeshadow palette would i bring i decided that i would bring my mac one my mac custom build because i have everything i need here like i've got my nice shimmers i've got my nice neutrals i've got my warm tones and i'll probably throw a black in there as well just to smoke it out but honestly like when i go on holiday makeup is not what i'm after i'm like it's simple makeup not like extravaganza makeup so that's why i like this palette i have brought it on holiday with me before so i know it works really really well so that would be that um graduation makeup would probably be my 35n from morphe for the simplest reason is the color story simple but there is no shimmers in this palette it's pure matte um, but it has got a good selection of warm tones and blacks and again loads of neutrals as well i find for graduations well here in the uk anyhow it's more of a natural look Whereas from what I can see in Ireland, it's like you're going out for the night. Um, well, that's only from some people that I've seen on their like Instagrams and stuff. And I'm like, oh my God, I would not wear that. Me personally, I wouldn't wear that kind of makeup to my graduation. Um, because at the end of the day, you need your graduation or any of these events, I feel are more are like, you need timeless makeup. You need something classy. Um, and I just find wearing like loads of heavy makeup. Like even this would be too much. I wouldn't even wear this, what I have on me now. I wouldn't wear this to a graduation or anything else. Um, Christmas day or the 12 pubs night, what would I wear? Now, I would probably wear my Huda Beauty Amethyst Obsessions palette because it's absolutely amazing and I love it so much. Um, the reason being is because obviously like if it's my Christmas day it's glittery the glitters in this are amazing um and I love kind of like glittery makeup at Christmas so I would probably wear that one and um, my birthday I would go for the green one the green Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions because I just think these colors are gorgeous uh, I haven't actually done a look with these on YouTube I have worn them not on YouTube but I will do a look eventually with with them maybe coming around to Paddy's day or that my birthday's at Christmas as well so I like glitter 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 at Christmas time office makeup what palette would I use I have chosen my BH Cosmetics hanging in Hawaii because I just think the colour story is really easy to work with 
if you are in a hurry in the morning, you know, there's loads of colors here. You could just swipe on the eyes and go. No fuss at all. My everyday go to palette. But if I'm like an everyday kind of makeup person, which I'm not, I only wear it when I'm shooting videos really, or if I have somewhere to go, I would probably go for the e.l.f. truffles because these colors here are just really easy to use. And then if, if you want a little bit extra, you have your highlighter color there. It's just really simple makeup, nothing too outlandish, just simple. And it's in a four pan, like little palette you can just stick in your pocket. Um, New Year's Eve makeup, I would probably use my Too Faced, um, what's this one called, Chocolate Gold, just because of the glitters. And again, it being Christmas and glitter, you know, that kind of time of the year. I love glitter. And it has three matte shades here. Well, apart from that one, there's just like a second colour or a cream bone colour. Um, everything else here is all glitter. So I could have a lot of fun with a lot of glitter on this one. Everything here is shimmery. Um, I'd like that for New Year's Eve, especially the silvers. Um, you could do like a kind of like a use that as your transition colour. Then go in with your black and then put your silver glitter on top. Like, or even the rich girl colour, which is this one here. Like you have a lot of options when it comes to um, New Year's Eve eyeshadow looks, I think, in this. Because you want something a bit fitzy. You're going to a party at the end of the day. Um, girls Night Out. Now, this palette that I'm going to show you is actually been discontinued, but it's, it's a brilliant palette. It's the MAC Red Hot Times 9. These are the colours in it. If you're going for a girly night out, I think this is just perfect, like pinks, purples, smoke it out there with your blacks or your dark purple. Like you have options in this and you can also like do it quite neutral as well because it has a mustardy shade here and it has a neutral colour here. And again, your bone white just to just to highlight. But I just think it's a really, really good palette. Again, no longer available, unfortunately. Um, but that is my eyeshadow tag. This video didn't take very long, did it? I thought it was going to be a little bit longer. Don't forget to like and subscribe as always. I would greatly appreciate your support in my channel. And other than that, I shall talk to you in my next video. Thanks again so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Mwah.